Hello, and welcome back to Nat 20. I'm Zach, I'll be your DM for today. Uh, we're doing a little Christmas special episode. Um, campaign name is An Unexpected Clause. And we're <laughs> just actual right gold. Uh, okay, so let's introduce our characters. We'll start over with Clayton. Oh, hi everyone, my name is Clayton. And I'm playing Jingle Fidget Kampf. I'm a janitor who's been working at the North Pole for several years now. Uh, everyone bullies me because I'm a dim-witted janitor, and that caused me to turn into an evil being, and I hate everybody that works at the company, but I don't let it show. Also, I have a broom. This could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Zach will remember that. <laughs> You just sound like a sportscaster, you know? Like, he's like, <laughs> saying, like, no, this could be interesting. <laughs> What's going to happen next? Stay tuned. <laughs> so, Sebastian? Yep. Yeah. My name's Barnaby's Clomby Clomby. Oh, Clomby. my God. <laughs> uh, I'm a level 8 merchant, halfling stout, uh, lawful evil. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and my whole thing is I had a really vivid dream once about working for Santa as his uh, enforcer for the naughty where uh, he taught me in the ways of the lump of coal <laughs> where I would go and uh, Beat small punish the naughty <laughs> essentially in hoping to uh, take away any ounce of uh, naughty they had left in them to make them the best job possible, but it all went wrong when Barnabas, in his dream, um, went to this child's house and uh, whipped a lump of coal at him, <laughs> and then proceeded to smack him until his ass was candy cane red. <laughs> and then he went downstairs, burnt the tree, <laughs> ate the milk, and devoured the cookies. Santa scolded him, banished him, but he still believes he's enforcing. And then he woke up, Barnabas? and he believes that is his quest. Barnabas is like the kid who used to bully <laughs> Jewish kids during Christmas. <laughs> Fuck you, Santa. He is out to teach the kids to be nice. <laughs> I think it's going to be more fun than I thought it was. <laughs> is Sebastian secretly the like the villain, like the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played a good character? This is meant for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Right. <laughs> I'm playing. As Bombadil a carrot stick. He's a little halfling tinker. He's somewhat of a mad scientist and likes to test his experiments on both himself and his friends. And he may actually be crazy, but he's always looking for a reason to test a new experiment. <coughs> yeah, hey. that's him. Okay, uh, I'm Duncan. I'm playing Bobbery Bartleby. <laughs> he's a leather worker and he never ever talks oh <laughs> <laughs> fuck you <laughs> lazy fuck, fuck off he uh, actually can't speak uh, so I guess we'll just see how it goes are you going to use sign language <laughs> we're on a podcast you better fucking <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, it is I, Tony, as always. Uh, I am playing Jerry Snowberry. He is a little halfling smith. Uh, he's lawful good. He's super optimistic, and he really believes um, that he... Like, he tries his hardest in all of his work, so he makes all the toys and everything, and uh, he can't stand flaws in things, and especially his own creations. So, yeah. Cool. What about himself? You're the most normal one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like, we didn't get a lot of context to, like, the world, so I was like, I'm going to make a happy little... Oh, um, oh like, so you know. it's Sorry. Zach's fault you're not creative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I should have named my dude Mind Jingle Comp. <laughs> Fuck off. That would have been perfect. <laughs> We're going to get demonetized. <laughs> I'm Can't be demonetized if you're not even monetized. Just, just call me Jingle. Jingle. I'm going to call you Jing. Just call me Jingle. I'm not Japanese. I can actually remember Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Bobbery. 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 I'm going to call you Bob. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You can't talk. Can't correct me. Barnabas. You. And then... Uh, Bombadil. Bombadil. <laughs> Bombadil. 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 Bombad
all Jingle. difficult names. <laughs> you know what? I, yeah, I gotta write this shit down. I don't this. <laughs> Should Jerry Snowberry's voice be uh, Jerry no. Sign? No, yes, no, yes. <laughs> Why don't you just make it a Kenneth voice? Because <laughs> Kenneth. Uh, Kenneth is like a chronic. Yeah. Yeah. Kenneth is yeah. a masterpiece. Yeah, I I can't let Jessica. Him... <laughs> Your wife is too big. <laughs> Kenneth is yeah. up to that. Okay, so let's start. Uh, you guys were all working M10 when you guys got fired from your job for various region- reasons. And uh, a couple days after that, you guys were sent a, a note, nondescript note, saying to meet at a job fair for a special chance at a rewarding career path. The only thing that uh, is... only note on this note... That's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> card is mostly blank except for a small logo in the corner that looks like a sleigh with three C's on it. And you guys are all interested and show up to this job fair to see what's happening. Is so, this a pyramid ski- scheme? <laughs> uh, sign the clause and you'll find out. <laughs> Can I ask why I was fired? Give me a reason why you were fired. Um, why was your character... Upper decker. You did an upper decker at work. <laughs> why was your character fired from their smitting job? Um, because he does too good of work. <laughs> <laughs> and that heavily disappoints him. <laughs> you, uh, you welded a penis on your du- on your boss's car. No. <laughs> Told him you can't just ask why I was fired. <laughs> <laughs> the going to be something bad. You know what? I take that back. Let's just continue. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's already canon. <laughs> You're now the penis. I'm also good, dude. <laughs> so, you guys show up to this job fair. You guys are taking a look around a uh, bunch of booths. There's a bunch of random booths for a cook, a janitor job. And uh, as you guys are wandering around, one particular booth catches your interest. It's kind of tucked into the corner in a desolate uh, place. And... Uh, is it me? <laughs> you no, you're not at the oh. you're not at the booth. All of you guys are greeted by a young looking halfling dressed in very flashy red and green coveralls and a peculiar looking hat with a pom pom on top. Oh uh, sexy. Um so we all don't know each other then, right? We're all Yeah, you guys don't know each other. You guys were all sent this nondescript card to meet at this particular booth. So Okay, I'll walk up to the booth. I'll go, well, I'm still dressed up all fancy like. <laughs> well, hello. Hey, Who might you right? be? Oh, my name's Barnabas Clumpy Clump uh, at your service. <laughs> oh, my name's Molly Mandrake. Molly Mandrake, that's lovely. What a lovely name. Now, Molly Mandrake, can you help me out here? I certainly can. I seem to have got this note, and I'll hand him the note. And um, Ooh, this, this is very interesting. Yeah, what is it, exactly? <laughs> uh, she pulls out a little document, and it's like, you sign right here, and I will tell you everything you need to know. Done! <laughs> it was signed. I hate it. Great, you just want to... Head back to the back of the booth, and I'll be right with you. I have to talk to these gentlemen right hit, right now. Wonderful. I'll be back there. You know, if you have a zero in intelligence, it's actually like negative five. <laughs> no, plus zero. Is, like that, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Why did you? Okay. <laughs> negative five it is. Wait, you can't have zero in intelligence. <laughs> you can if you want. <laughs> <laughs> the lowest you can roll is like three. Yeah. If you're, you're allowed to put like the... You can do what you want. That's probably what it should be, but I was using D&D Beyond and D&D Beyond. When you do it, it just puts it at zero instead of Damn. its base thing. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Nice Out, Sebastian? No. Well, <laughs> no, well, Daniel Craig in that movie has like a... a that a is minus six. Southern a- accent. Oh. No, and it sounds exactly like that. <laughs> oh, I expect God. foul play. Yeah, oh, shit, I'm exactly, real It's actually fucked. such a good movie. Um, <laughs> I uh, expect Anyway, foul after play. seeing this exciting character go up to the front, I, I decide to approach, and I'm like, I have that's minus no five. So I have minus one. How <laughs> 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 that work? Sebastian, have you ever played D&D before? <laughs> I used D&D Beyond! <laughs> hey, give me a break! And he has a minus six charisma. <laughs> As a, as a merchant. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Yeah, because I buy my stuff, don't weird. buy my stuff. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care. What's the lowest you can get a charisma? Three. Three. Okay, yeah. so that's what I got. The lowest stats you can get is three. 
Okay, that's what I got. So that's minus five, <laughs> right? I, just, I no, looked over, three. I saw zero in his intelligence. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Minus, minus three. Right? Yeah. Minus yeah. three, minus which equals three. minus five, right? Sure. Uh, <laughs> it's it's so bad, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. You're just going to fail always. It's going to be real bad. So it'd be like the sharpshooter fee. Okay, so no, we, the lowest like actual score you can get is three. Which that's what I bet. Modifier How do I... is minus five. <laughs> minus three. Three. We can just cut all of these. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's just restart the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Eight is minus one. Six it's minus, is minus ten divided two. by two. And that means three. Oh, yeah. What? So what's three? <clears throat> you have three, so it's minus three. Negative your three. So it's by okay. Negative yeah. three <laughs> in your charisma and in your intelligence. Okay, so negative three. And negative, negative three. That's all you need to know. My intelligence is three. So negative three. Are you even present, Sebastian? I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> shut up. Any aspect of the word. <laughs> right. Now that we've got that out of the way. I don't like you. <laughs> no. <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay. No, anyways, you guys were talking to Molly. Yeah, so I approach her after seeing this exciting a char- character approach her about the the same card that I have, and I'm like, "Excuse me, miss. Uh, I see that I got this flashy. I see oh I saw your God. flashy outfit, and I got this nice card in the mail. I was wondering if this had to do with this booth." It's got the uh, obvious voice here. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, she'll hand you a little booklet about 50 page oh, long. Uh, you sign this and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Thanks for catching me. Uh, <laughs> what's contained in this 50 page booklet? Mm. That I... Are you literate? Are you able to read? <laughs> I sure can. Why don't you just uh, open it up and take a look? Alright, I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, by the way, my name is Jerry Snowberry. <laughs> Cause I didn't introduce myself. Okay. And I, I take a step over to the side so other people can go by, and I open the book. Okay, Jerry, right. my name's Molly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Missy. Then, <laughs> as this little conversation is going down, another person is going to approach. This is a very big dude, about like six foot four. He's dressed in an all red tuxedo, very flashy, very prominent. Satan. And uh, <laughs> he'll he'll approach a booth. Dad. And Molly will immediately say, "What are you doing here? I thought, I thought you were sick." And he'll he'll approach and be like, "Well, hell, Molly, uh, <laughs> I have some updated contracts that I'm gonna need these good gentlemen to sign." <laughs> and he'll drop off five new booklets onto the table and say, uh, "There's also a a new uh, security." feature with these booklets. I'm going to need to, them to provide a DNA test. Uh, <laughs> particularly blood. Just doing a quick background. Just show. a quick ancestry. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's to you know. make sure that these contracts are valid in every single reason. And uh, once you sign these, you know, they'll be good to go. Do, do I hear this? Yeah, like this, he, he approaches the front of the This saddens right me because I've already got past page two. Um, <laughs> and I'm heavily optimistic that this one will contain less questionable things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do I read in the contract, by the way? Is there anything, like, out of the ordinary? No, it's basic contracts. It's saying, like, uh, your wages, the hours, uh, benefits. All right, sick. You're not yeah. responsible for loss of life or limb. <laughs> <laughs> The new one says, and blood. <laughs> <laughs> the, the endangerments of the job and, you know, safety precautions. All right. Just so, all basic paperwork. It's like, I'm pretty optimistic. Uh, yeah, and then this big guy will hand you, drop off the <clears throat> contracts, and then he'll uh, turn around and start leaving. Oh, uh, damn. Leaving you guys to uh, talk with Molly. No, I walked off somewhere, right? Because he told yeah. me to go somewhere. Molly just told you to go behind the booth. And okay, so I'm just chilling behind the booth. Then. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So what do the rest of you guys do? I'll, I'll go up to the desk and introduce myself as, I'm Bombadil the Kersek. I heard you are giving jobs out. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the voices so far. Yes, we are, Bombadil. We are handing out, a, we are hiring people for a very special career path. He's so to the point. Um, I guess I'll just get rid of these old contracts. You sign this new contract right here with your blood, apparently, and uh, we'll get you hired. I take up my forgery kit. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, um, yeah, I'll just turn the page, you know. <laughs> you, you put that right there. Yeah, so I just stab and, like, ram right on top of it. Okay, that works. Um, <laughs> cool. You just wait right behind the booth, and I'll get... I'll deal with these two gentlemen. Nothing That's like, good. Nothing like following blindly. <laughs> I, just, I quickly back push the, the desk and I'm like, So I hear there's a new uh, contract out. <laughs> um, yes. Can I get you guys to roll a perception check right now? Well oh, done. Gage shouldn't. He already signed. Now 20. <laughs> okay. Well, now one. Uh, I got a three. Uh, so 13. Gage. And I guess. Oh, yeah, you would have to re sign the contract. Yep. Um. <laughs> You two notice uh, that these new contracts, they have a, a different logo on them. It's just still the same sleigh, but instead of three C's, it has three K's. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> shit! <laughs> um, I chuckled. <laughs> I chuckled to myself <laughs> and wait expectantly for them all to sign. Um, when I approach her back about the contract, I'm like, Well, I got about, like, a... Uh, Four pages in, but is it about the same, the new one and this one? Um, I haven't had to look over these contracts, but I would assume yes. <laughs> well, hot dog, I guess I'll sign her then. Cool, I would, I'll need your, uh, blood signature. <laughs> just, just right here. I'm scared to pick this voice. Up up. Well, All right, me. uh, oh, okie dokie. Uh, I asked her if she has a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> do I see him about to sign? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Can I throw my uh, forgery <laughs> pen or whatever at him real hard? <laughs> sure. Oh, damn. Roll, roll the hit. Is that seven? <laughs> you see him about to sign and you just fucking, you ready up your pen and you whip it at him. But it uh, kind of goes a little bit long and it hits one of the bystanders that's just kind of walking by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? The fuck was that? <laughs> do I like? Do I like notice the pen go or go flying by? Yeah, <laughs> hard to miss that. Yeah, yeah. And I just look mm. back and I see him. I just don't think twice. Okay. I just wink. <laughs> and at this point, Molly kind of just stares, and she'll she'll pull out a pen and and stab you. <laughs> uh, oh my god! I try to sign my name on the contract with my blood, like can. Uh, so I like try to sign it. Classy. Jerry Snowberry. Meanwhile, Dungo is not one is still looking for the contract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're able to sign your name and right. able to, uh, everything goes smoothly. Sick. I'm gonna come out from behind the booth. <laughs> this contract, man. Well, yeah. I so <laughs> trying to be. I guess I'm gonna need uh, a new signature out of you. Why? <laughs> What's these, the purpose? These contracts are updated. Uh, the big boss man, he just showed up and. Kind of these. Well, right. Looks contract. like I just got in time for shift change, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll sign exactly. your contracts. <laughs> so yeah, just sign right here, um, with your blood. Yeah. And everything will go smoothly. Yeah, my blood. Yes. Now, what's the purpose of that? Uh, I was told by the boss man that it's to you know make sure that things are valid and people don't. Try and screw us over. We had a couple lawsuits, you know, because they thought we were trying to suck them into a deal. Well, all right, all right, you got yourself a deal. Um, do you, you by any chance have, have some sort yeah. of? Uh, <laughs> uh, say one at this booth, or by chance have some shop. I need to cut my hand open. Uh, here, here, here's the hand. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm just going to take it from one corner to the other. <laughs> and then slap it on the paper. Oh my god, <laughs> like, it, like I'm slapping my knee. I'll just right on the contract. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, doggy! But whatever works. <laughs> and then I'll find some oh. sort of cloth to wrap it up. So I don't bleed out. Sweet fuck. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So I'm finally gonna walk up. To the desk. <laughs> so I just um, watch all this go down. I, I see you've been kind of standing there watching. Uh, why are you here, Mister Bobbery? My name's Bobbery Bartleby. <laughs> okay, Bobbery. It's like a cowboy Indian, right? <laughs> just like Irish at all. It's not, I changed my mind. Um, I like are you looking change. for a job, Bobbery? I got. This car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, just sign here with your blood, as you can see these guys did, and we can get you a job. Alrighty then. 
<laughs> and I'll take out like one of my leather working tools and just like daintily pinpoint my finger. A little pinprick. Just a little pinprick and just on the cut. <laughs> okay. Instead you know of what? fucking cutting my hand off like everybody else. <laughs> That works. That's all we need. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to the job, you guys. Uh, just follow me back to the behind the booth, and I'll get you guys going. And she'll she'll walk behind the booth where there's literally just a red sack sitting there. And she'll. What? Did you sign it yet? No, I'm at the janitor <coughs> booth. I work here already. Yeah, she, yeah, he already works here. Oh, damn. I'm probably at the janitor booth handing out flyers. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Please join the janitor booth club! Please join the, the janitor, janitor booth club! The janitor union could use a few more bodies. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've worked alone for 30 years. Please! Molly's going to open up this red bag, red sack that she has behind the uh, booth. It's guns. And she'll really tell you guys to jump in. You just want us to jump right in there. Jump in the sack. Straight in. Yep. All right. And then jump in. <laughs> you jump in, and you disappear, and you guys are left in the in the booth watching this happen. Whoa, where does this uh, red sack lead to? <laughs> it leads to the job. <laughs> Mind if I ask, uh, what's the job again? You know, I, I can't really say here. Oh, There's too many people spying on us. <laughs> you jump through, and I, I promise I'll be, tell you everything. You know what? I like your optimism, <laughs> so I guess I'll just hop right in then. And I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna, like, uh, kind of skirt in there. Cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the sack and then put an arm through it and try to, and, like, wave it to see if it's <laughs> see it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> After uh, Jerry jumps in and he disappears, you stick your arm in and you kind of feel cold on the other side a little bit. And then you kind of feel yourself starting to get sucked in. And shortly after, like two seconds after you stick your arm in, you get fully sucked in and you pop out the other side. Okay. And that just leaves Bob. I'll just calmly walk in and walk through the sack. You step in the sack and you disappear as well. And then Molly will follow shortly right behind you. You guys come out into a room that's very extravagant. Nothing close to what you guys have been used to. The trim in the walls and the ceiling appear to be made of solid gold and the floor is made of mar marble. You guys appear to be in a, a barracks or like a, uh, a restroom kind of. Well, not a restroom. Like a recreation room. Mm -hmm. You guys have lockers all along one side of the wall, and there's bunk beds all along the other side of the wall. Middle of the room is just filled with entertainment system, a bunch of couches, just place to lounge. And uh, a big red bag sits on the floor behind you, and Molly pops out shortly after. And she appears to be in a rush. She's like, okay, guys, this is no time to dawdle. Uh, we are very short staffed right now. I'm going to need you guys to go to your locker, go grab a uniform and boots, get ready. Uh, I'll be waiting outside. You guys get dressed and come meet me outside. Uh, now, jingle my bells, this is a fancy place. Uh, did I notice the, one of, like, the three Ks on the front of the other contract at all? <laughs> you did you not. three, bro. Uh, I know, but I was, like, wondering if I saw when I signed it. Um, never mind then. I was going to make a joke, but it's... It wasn't racist, I swear. It was just like a... <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh, is, this, is this stuff real? Like, what's with... Oh, this is just very fancy from anything I've ever seen. 100%. Seen. Welcome to your new job. Can I sit in that couch? Um, yes. <laughs> You're not on break right now, so I'm going to need to get dressed, and we can get right to work. All right. Let's right, locker. Right, 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 right. Go, just go to your locker over there, and uh, get dressed. I'll meet you guys outside. I'll do it immediately. Don't get dressed. <laughs> uh, so you, you notice as you're walking up to the locker that even though you haven't worked here before, you'll look at the locker and you see a bunch of different names. You'll see a uh, Jingle Count on one of them. You'll see Molly Mandrake on one of them. You'll see a whole bunch of different names. And you're looking through the names and you see your name on one of the lockers engraved and everything. How'd you guys find the time to do this while I just signed the contract, Mr. Molly? Magic. 
As she Madge, walks, who's it was? As she walks through the door. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and inside the locker, you find a a winter jacket and a pair of sturdy old boots and a white hood. <laughs> <laughs> on, on this winter jacket is the, the sleigh logo with CCC on it, okay. and it's it's colored uh, solid green with a little red stripe along the uh, arms, and uh, the this equipment will actually give you plus three AC. Ooh. Yeah, so oh. plus, plus one for the boots, and then plus two for the winter jacket. Ooh, very nice, very nice. So, what does everyone else do as uh, Burnaby is getting dressed? Uh, I, like, go around and I, like, um, inspect, like, the craftsmanship on some of the items in the room. Like, because it's, like, it's got, like, gold. Yeah, like, gold, gold trim, marble floor, pretty, like, solid, like, walnut uh, walls. Damn. Everything looks very extravagant and very expensive. Are the boots made of leather? The uniform boots? Yes. Are they really nice leather craftsmanship? Extremely nice. Well, nicer than the ones I've got on? Hell yes. Yes. Okay, I'll put them on. <laughs> yeah, after looking around, I'm just going to go to my like They're super on comfy. They, as soon as you put them on, they're form-fitting. They fit you exactly. Memory foam? They got memory foam in them. <laughs> They're very warm. <laughs> this is amazing. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> you said they were a gaming system, so that means there's electricity of some kind? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try to snag, like, a small system of some kind. Okay. So you walk up to the entertainment system, and, uh... There's the Xbox Series X! <laughs> <laughs> Something with a battery on it, hopefully. Game Boy! Yeah, you, f- you can find just, like... This is random toys and stuff. You can find... You can salvage two batteries from whatever entertainment is set in there. Okay, Do I, awesome. Do I catch this? Uh, roll a perception check. I want to see if I notice as well. Yeah, you can roll. It's, uh, 14. Yeah, you would notice him snooping on the entertainment. I got a Salvaging 18. stuff. You would too. Oh, okay. Now, uh, hold, hold, hold. Hey, you. What, what's your name again? Bobbito. Bombardale, now. the voice I'm seeing. What, what are you doing over there, Bombardale? Oh, you see, these these are batteries. There's electricity. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, all right. Are you, you're just taking them? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a very good idea. Yeah, no, I agree with, uh... What's your name? Jerry Snowberry. <laughs> Mr. Snowberry. I, I agree with Mr. Snowberry. That does not seem like the smartest thing to be doing right now. That's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, we just got employed, and I'm pretty sure we signed our life away to this <laughs> to this employer. So we should try to impress them, as they could probably kill us. Did you check what you signed? Like the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Well, look, Mr. Snowberry, he's got a point. Look, we just got this new fancy job. These people have been very kind to us, and you're stealing their crap. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna walk away and get changed. <laughs> uh, I don't like that film. I got a bad feel about it. Yeah, I mean, batteries aren't that expensive anyway, so I don't know why you'd be stealing them all. Going on the non list. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and uh, your name was. Oh, Barnabas Clumpy Clump, at your service. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, Barnabas. Again, I'm. Jerry Snowberry. Snowberry. <laughs> Mr. Snowberry. <laughs> you just made the nice list. How was that? All right, all right, all right. Don't get on my nice list now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming. Next time you can't sit next to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the janitor doing? Yeah, what is the janitor doing? <laughs> You'll meet him in my... Fuck days. off. <laughs> <laughs> um... So you guys get dressed, and <laughs> everyone gets plus three AC. You guys have... Oh, yeah. You guys also have your names on your coats as well. Awesome. Nice. Um, and you guys... You guys are ready to go outside? Yeah. Nothing else to do? Yep. I'm good. Okay. You guys head outside where Molly is uh, waiting for you guys, just leaning against, like, a, uh, a railing. She's just leaning against the railing on the hallway, and she's hassling... Hastily scribbling it down on her uh, clipboard. And uh, as you guys approach, she's like, 
Good. Have you guys looked a part of this job? Let's go got let's go get you guys some ID. If you guys just follow me down this hallway, we can get that going. Is it government issued? <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> It is Confederate Claws Company <laughs> issued. I like the sound of that. Um, I'm gonna um, walk up beside. What's this person? Molly. Molly. It's Molly. Okay, I'm gonna walk up beside Molly here and just kind of whisper over to him, like, Molly. Now I don't know if this should be worried or concerned or anything, but one of your yes. new employees just battery thefted some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they give me the battery. <laughs> he took a couple of batteries. You know what? That is. Very much the least of our problems right now. <laughs> 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 All right, I just thought I'd give you the information. You decide what you do with it. If, if you point that employee out to me, I'll, I'll just take it out of their paycheck. Well, surely he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You know, do I hear this? Uh, well, I'm whispering the words, but okay. you probably would have seen me point right at you. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see him talking to Molly, but you don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Very nice. I'll, I'll put a good word into Santa about you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are you not aware I of what this job is? I have seen him in a long time. Are you not aware of what this job is? No, not a clue. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll get this out of the way right now and she'll dress you guys all. Uh, welcome to the Confederate Claws Company now, you, now that you guys are in uniform and you guys are going to get your ID soon. You guys signed contracts and everything? Yeah, about that. I saw that the uh, contract was KKK. There I noticed must that as well. be some kind of mistake about there that. There wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is the CCC, the Com- Confederate Claws Company. So why did we sign for KKK? You know what? Makes uh, a good point. Like, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> 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 you know what? I'm going to sign with Texas, I will. I just want to know why. I'll have to talk about, I'll have to talk to the big man about this, but, you know, there must have been some sort of mistake with oh, that. Oh, no. Some kind of printing mistake. Uh... Look pretty intentional. Cool. Well, yeah. Th- this is the Confederate Claws Company. Uh, welcome to your new job. You're going to be working for Santa as his little helpers. We got to walk it out. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the KKK, Bombadil. Um, this is the CCC. <laughs> now, if you'd like to follow me to this. Room over here, down the hallway, I'll get you your IDs and we can get started making toys for the big man. Well, certainly. And she'll lead you down the hallway to a door labeled processing, and she'll lead you guys inside. Did I notice before that, uh, I forget, sorry, what's your name, Sebastian? Barnabas. Barnabas, did did I notice that he was talking to... Yeah, you guys all would have noticed him talking to Molly. I approach him, I'm like... Did you, uh, tell Molly about the batteries? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Snowberry, you're damn right, Sandy. <laughs> Any naughtiness of, uh, I notice will be reported and dealt with. <laughs> uh, rest assured, things are in good hands. You know, I used to be Santa's enforcer once. Oh, I... I'm really excited to meet the man again. I didn't, right. I didn't know that. Oh, well, now you do. <laughs> so, Jingle... You are sitting in the supply closet right now. My broom and my little yeah, wandering just, cart of like hot water and spray bottles. You're doing whatever cloth. you're doing in your spare time in the supply closet. Smoking. <laughs> and it's a stressful job. <laughs> as you're sitting there, you hear a whole bunch of commotion outside. And that's weird because you haven't really seen anybody kind of like around lately. I'm the only fucking person who works in this and goddamn place. so when you place. actually hear Molly talking to people, you get very interested. And you walk out of the supply closet, and you see this group of adventurers right in front of you. Is Molly there? Yes. Okay. Molly seems to be leading them towards processing. I throw my cigarette on the ground, and I like, hurriedly start stamping it out and kicking it into the supply closet. <laughs> and then I slam it closed, and I go, Oh, hello, Miss Molly! Oh, hello, Jingle. Uh... How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing wonderful as always. That's a terrible voice. 
<laughs> Don't worry, there's a joke. Just wait. <laughs> um, wait for the punchline. <laughs> okay, Jangle. Um, I hate all of you. Uh, uh, isn't there some rooms that need to be cleaning? You know. Oh fuck you, Miss Molly. <laughs> It's, we are paying you for a reason, right? <laughs> I'm about <on my> 15! <laughs> yeah, smoking in your room, polluting that place. My room is a supply closet! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you didn't have to sit in the supply closet. There is a barracks that you can just chill out in with entertainment systems. No one likes me in there! There is literally no one else here, <laughs> Jingle. Yeah, but, actually, I've been meaning to ask you about that, Miss Molly. What happened to everybody? Um, I've been alone for like a week. Look, I don't know, Jingle. <laughs> That's why we got these new employees. Also, those entertainment systems won't work without batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a smart cookie? Uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, my name is Jerry Snowberry. <laughs> and you are a Jingle? That's the dumbest fucking name I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, your your name is Jingle. My name is Jingle Fidget Camp. All right. I <laughs> call him Jingle because you know we hired him. He, he's foreign. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually just a lie. <laughs> well, it was good to see diversity up. Yeah, you know that's. <laughs> Don't tell him this, but that's why we hired him. <laughs> right, I'm a natural it. born citizen. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mistreated for 30 years here. Jingle, you haven't been hired for 30 years. <laughs> well, uh, Listen, shut up, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I fucking have to make up this stupid voice, Molly. I can't do this anymore. Then why do you use the voice? Because <laughs> we're supposed to be working for Santa Claus. <laughs> We are working for Santa. Santa doesn't care. <laughs> what do you mean he doesn't care? He cares about results. And right now, Jingle, you're not giving them those results. <laughs> I'm paid to sweep floors, Molly. <laughs> what does he want from me? Initiative? <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Plus... Plus fucking Phil, one of the other guys, he told me we were supposed to use high-pitched voices. Like, think I would do that voice because I want to? You know Phil's just fucking with you. He's got nothing else to do. <laughs> fucking always hated Phil. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna is pull out uh, another... Phil another janitor that works here? No, I'm the only janitor. And I pull out another cigarette. <laughs> and start smoking. Uh, can I, like, inspect, like, the room and how clean it is? Like, how good of a job he did, he's done? Sure. Right. Do it, uh... Insight? Should I roll to see how good I did? Can I roll performance? Which room are you? Like, you whatever room, room we're in right now. Like, okay. we're, like if we're in the so, hall, I just want to like look to see, like... Because after you said I'm the only janitor, I'm just curious about his work ethic. Yeah, I'll set the where you guys are right now. You guys came out of the barracks, <laughs> and in front of that doorway is kind of like a little courtyard with a tree and presents around it. And you guys turn to the right... Uh, on the way to processing, so like right now you're just in a hallway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should I roll performance? See how I did? Sure. Uh, 15. This room, it's not spotless. It's, it passes. You know, some of the, some of the higher up railings that you can't quite reach are kind of dusty. <laughs> cigarette ash. <everywhere>. <laughs> I take my cigarette out of my mouth and I like tap the ashes on the floor. I take a lot of pride in my work. <laughs> As I can see, Jingle. Now, um, if you would like to sweep that up, I have new employees to, uh, process. <clears throat> Fuck off! <laughs> Jingle <laughs> seems like the kind of person after finishing a cigarette would just like eat the rest. <laughs> don't fuck with me, Jingle. <laughs> I don't fucking work for you, Molly. <laughs> yeah, you work for Santa, and I'm his right man. I'm his right hand man. We'll fucking do something, about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Are we not saying you get fired? Look, I don't, I don't like have Jingle. time for this. If you guys would please follow me into processing, and we can get started. Watch well, certainly. And she'll walk through the door into processing, and, uh... I just follow. <laughs> sit down at the table that's in there. You guys walk into the room, and... It's a little weird, especially for a name called Processing. 
Uh, there's a solid metal table in the middle, bolted to the floor. On top of the table is this weird uh, contraption, almost like uh, a what is it? A uh, blood pressure cuff, mm. kind of like bolted to the table, and with two metal chairs sitting opposite <laughs> of each other, and one dimly lit light <clears throat> on top of the table. It looks very like an interrogation room. And uh, Molly will sit on one side and say, uh, well, let's start alphabetically. Uh, we have Burnaby, Bob, and Bombadil. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it would be Barnabas, because he's a... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Barnabas, would you please sit down? Well, certainly, I don't mind if I do. All right, I'll just take a seat, all like don't ready to go, lots of enthusiasm. Don't yeah. mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh fuck! Please stick your your left hand through this cuff, and we'll get started. All right, <laughs> slide it in. And as you slide it in, you feel a you feel a uh, a slight pressure go around your your arm, your forearm, and uh, as cushions of air kind of press down against your arm, preventing un- any unnecessary movement. And uh, she'll push a little button on the screen on the table, and you feel a sharp, uh, sharp, hot twang, not twang, pain in your arm. It, it comes and goes very quickly. You barely feel it at all. And then moments later, your cuff, uh, your arm is released. And on your forearm, you see two black uh, rectangles and a little barcode right above that, with a little with a little number two right next to it. Well, that was easy. Certainly, it that is your employee number. That's the barcode, and with your access level, and then the two bars are used for crafting. Oh, all right. Well, that is your allotted amount of. Uh, crafting time. I'm very happy to be working here. I Great. turn to, uh, what's your name again? Me? Yeah. Uh, Bombadil. <laughs> yeah, I turn to Bombadil and I say, uh, heard if they squeeze hard enough, that thing will make your whole hand pop off. <laughs> <laughs> You're up, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Bombadil's trying to stop from smiling. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll have you guys roll perception checks. You already know this. Oh, uh, oh shit. Jingle. I got seven. Wow. I got seven, too. No. <laughs> we should get, like, a little bell or something. Yeah, we should. Um, ding, 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 ding. So, <laughs> you two get notice yeah. that Molly has the same, like, tattoos and everything on her, on a forearm. She has a little four next to her barcode, and she has um, four crafting bars. And so next we'll go with Bombadil. Awesome. I just go up and sit down. Okay. Just stick your arm right in there and it'll be over in a second. I do it and tell her to make it tight. <laughs> sure. <Go ahead. laughs> Kinky little bastard we got. Here. <laughs> yeah. Push the button. Uh, compresses on your arm, you feel the sharp uh, pain, and it's done moments later. Okay. And you got your barcode and crafting uh, bars. Uh, okay, well, next we'll have Bob. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob is fucking old. <laughs> yeah. I love it. He's like 247. Sweet Jingle's <laughs> like 160, so... I'm 20. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm well, 10. Bob, <laughs> sit down in a chair, try not to hurt yourself, and put your arm through the, through the cuff. Okay, I, I do so. Very okay. slowly. It'll be over in a second, and she'll push the button, and... I'm feel, sure you felt worse things in your long-ass lifetime. you feel a little pressure, and you'll feel a sharp pain, and it's done moments later. Okay. All right, I'll just get up and shuffle away. Cool. Okay. Much obliged, Molly. Quick and easy, guys. <laughs> now, Jerry. All right. <laughs> I go and I sit down. And I'm like, so I just stick my arm in here. 
Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> put, put, put your leg through. <laughs> <laughs> to see everyone puts their arm in. Do the opposite. Uh, I, I put my arm in. Put your head okay. inside. <laughs> you put your arm in, she'll push the button, you feel the pressure, feel the pain, and moments later, you're free. Nice. Okay, well, now that everyone has their IDs, we'll, we'll do a little tour now. Show you guys around the premises and show you how these crafting bars work, and then you guys can get started. Also, uh, maybe where to get more batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should find where we can get some more batteries. Or or second thought, maybe batteries. cancel that request. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can literally craft a battery if you guys want to. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after you guys have your IDs, she'll lead you out the door and down the hallway. Uh, at this time, if you guys didn't notice it before, you guys see a big tree in the little courtyard next to the hallway. There's little railings going all the way around, two stair te- two uh, stairways leading down to a courtyard. Uh, it's got a little skylight, shining light onto this magnificent pine tree. Uh, it's all glittered up with ornaments. <coughs> it's got the star on top, and all around the uh, the base of the tree are f- five. Well, I guess four presents. <laughs> and and she says that uh, well, all new employees. It's tradition that new employees we give them a gift to show how much we want them here. So those four presents next to that tree. Uh, they're your guys. Go down, choose one, open it up, and you can have whatever inside. Oh, mama! Oh, right, okay! <laughs> I'm gonna race down there and just uh, pick the... How high is the baddest? Random present. The really, the stairway. It's like... Two feet? Oh. Feet. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's not that high. The little stairways, it leads down like two feet. If it's three feet, it's taller than me. <laughs> I'm doing a half I guess feet. he's meant for half. Yes, yeah. Oh, nice. The, the railing is one foot high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Nice. I head down there. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah I'm just going to race and grab it. You guys head yeah. down there, grab a present. I flick cigarette ashes over the railing as they walk down. <laughs> and I'll have you four roll a d20 to see what you get. It's nine. So, at 18, <laughs> Gage, you open up your present. I don't know how it fit in there. Uh, you pull out a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a push mower. It's not a riding lawnmower. Battery or cord? with the cord? <laughs> Gas powered. Gas powered? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, what did you get? 18. 18. You open up your present with haste, and you find... Hot glue inside. <laughs> just, hot, just hot glue? glue? It, it's like not like hot. A pile of hot glue. It's like the hot glue rods. Oh, wait, I get to roll twice when opening presents. Yes. 19. You find hot glue in an RC car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get both of them? Yes. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> what? You got 19. You got 19, so you find an RC car. Best day in my life. Hot I glue got a 17. RC car. You got a 17. You find an anvil. <laughs> yeah, That's perfect right for me. <laughs> hey, what was my I've when I first never been so excited. Yeah, I guess you would get something. Well, a d twenty. Uh, fourteen. You would have gotten a. You got a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you hate your job. <laughs> oh god! Happy day! Happy day! <laughs> Lucky kids, have fun with your toys. <laughs> Oh my god! It's an anvil! <laughs> I'm so. I've never been more excited in my life. <laughs> Does the lawnmower have gas in it? Yes. Sweet. I'm gonna start driving around the little RC car. <laughs> yeah, so uh, enjoy your toys. You can use them in crafting, make something better. Make, oh. An RC car with an anvil. <laughs> an so. RC anvil. <laughs> Speaking of that, we'll go straight to the workshop and she'll point you guys slightly over to the right. Um, if you look to your left, you'll see workplace harassment. <laughs> and if you look to your right, you'll see time mismanagement. 
Shut up, Jingle. Don't you have something to clean? I saw you fuck off, Molly. <laughs> why are you following us around? I have nothing else to do with my life. <laughs> well, why don't you go into the workshop and show these guys how to craft something? I don't want to use one of my crafting bars. <laughs> okay, then. Maybe I will. And follow me, guys. Jingle will lead you into the workshop where you see two giant benches filled with just like any tool you could want, duct tape, glue, anything. And along the walls are giant bins filled with scrap wood, scrap metal, and scrap plastic. So how does this work again? So you literally take any two items and you craft something. So any two items that are in the room? Yeah, so... You literally have a carrot and a broom right now. I probably ate that carrot like 12 years ago when I got hired. Sure, no, you just cut <laughs> it. Away. No, I just want to know what I had originally, see if it was like long lasting when it was yeah. a carrot. So I probably ate that shit. Okay. Well, I can say that you have a carrot just for the. Just for. Experience. It's a regenerating yeah, just carrot. Just for crap. Yeah, it's a carrot that just comes back every time you need it. Cool. All right, I'll take my carrot. You can turn your broom into something. I'm going to take my broom and my carrot. <laughs> Wait, no, can I mix cigarettes in, in my broom? <laughs> I'm going to take a pack of cigarettes in my broom. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So you put those two items Hey, listen, on your... watch closely, everybody. What I'm about to show you requires absolutely no skill. <laughs> <laughs> you were really hired just for man body. <laughs> just for man power. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was just a janitor. You <laughs> 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 throw these two <laughs> items on, on the crafting bench. You grab a random hot hammer, and you literally just smack the bench, and these two items combine, and you have a, a smoking broom that gives you advantage on stealth, because it's everlasting. Smoke is literally like billowing off of it. I call this the cigarette broom. <laughs> Basically, all you need is one of these dinky doinky hammers, two items, and a bar on your wrist. That's yeah. like a lot easier than smithing. Right, right <laughs> after you craft, you can see one of the bars go, uh, uh, like it was solid black, and now it's just that line of a rectangle. How many did I have originally? You have two, and now you have one. Yeah. But you can only do it a certain amount of times a day. Holy hell! All right, uh, I'm gonna grab my RC car, and my hot glue, and I'll just it back together. Okay. It's very it's important that you don't waste your crafting <laughs> bars. Just you never know when table. it might come in handy, uh, Barnabas. I really hope your RC car can like drop on walls and stuff now. <laughs> Sticky RC car. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it does. <laughs> Yo, I don't think you thought this through, Barnabas. It's not like you can sit on the RC car. Not yet, anyways. Can I try to use a battery and some spare metal and wires to try to make something to shock someone? <laughs> no, what everyone. What's wrong with you? <laughs> we actually can't stay. We have more tours to do. Well, I mean, these guys can crap something if they want to. Ah, oh, fucking Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so, the RC car is going to have a speed of 40 feet. Oh, wow. Yeah. And. I named it the sticky car. <laughs> yeah. So your RC car will actually stick to anyone that you drive it onto and anything you drive it onto. So you can really drive it on the on the wall on the roof. I'm gonna start going nuts with that thing. <laughs> spider it all over the walls. Spider car. Spider. <laughs> yeah. Does whatever a spider car does. Okay, and then you're crafting a battery scrap metal. And, like, wiring to try to make something that can shock people. He wants to make a taser. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. He managed to make a little hand taser that does uh, 1d6 shock damage. You guys realize we're working for Santa Claus's presents for kids. You just made a taser. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't background check anybody anymore, do you? <laughs> I'm telling you, Molly, this place needs new management. We can't We've been saying this for years. Once gets created, that's the magic of these workbenches. You're, well, you, you can't just put two dangerous items together and expect them to make something not dangerous. This entire body is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it on myself. <laughs> Roll for damage. This place has been going okay, to the dumps. 
<laughs> you shock yourself as you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you, you, you stab yourself with this taser and you just fucking convulse. Complete circuit. You don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and after that happens, I just grin. A grin that doesn't go away. Uh, oh, God. Molly, Molly kind of just stares <laughs> at you with disappointment. And it's like, well, I I guess you're workforce. You're part of our job. I can't, fire, I can't fire you. That's right. You can't fire shit, Molly. <laughs> God damn I'm telling box. you guys, Santa doesn't treat us well at all. Okay. I'm going to take out like one of my leather working tools. Just burn them up, everybody! Burn up all your crafting bars. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like a metal tool, whatever it is, doesn't okay. matter. And I'm gonna walk up to Molly and be like, "Mary dear, can you teach me how to do this, please?" <laughs> <laughs> Were you not paying? I showed you. It requires no skill. I know. <laughs> well, Bob, you literally take any two items, and you. Combine them. Can you show me, please? <laughs> <laughs> I just had to turn you guard. Molly will be like, well, I, I won't do with your item. I'll, I'll show you with my own stuff. Whoa! And she'll grab... <laughs> it's kind of rude, Molly. <laughs> she'll grab uh, a bunch of scrap wood, and she'll throw it on the table, grab a random hammer and smack the table, and a, a little wooden rocking horse is going to pop out. He's like, there you go. Wow, okay, I'm going to take the rocking horse and then uh, put the RC car on the table with the leather working tool. With the, the rocking table. horse. <laughs> RC rocking horse? How dope is that? Actually, yeah. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to do the car and the rocking horse instead. Mm, I, I really have to improv these crafting things just so you guys know. I Did you make a I fucking know. go-kart? <laughs> 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 Just, Actually, oh, it's yes. a rocking horse go kart. So it like rocks, but it's like <laughs> there's a puff of smoke as these two items get combined, and this rocking horse is no longer a rocking horse. Uh, the bottom of it becomes flat as the wheels get attached, and you can see wiring and the battery attached to it as well. You now have a ride. You have a steed. I'm gonna be honest, that's you actually... You have an RC horse. <laughs> that's actually the coolest thing anyone has ever made in this job. <laughs> this old fuck didn't even try. <laughs> you said it didn't take skill. No. Whatever so you were paying attention. <laughs> Whatever your speed was before, it is now 40 feet as you can ride your horse. Yeah. Probably shouldn't be walking on those knees anyway, hey, Grandpa? <laughs> I can't hear you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna take some uh, iron and like I'm gonna take one of my smithing tools and I'm gonna hit it and try to make like a I wanna like make like a dagger or something. Okay, you're just gonna take a bunch of scrap metal. Yeah. Yeah, you you can craft a straight up. You can craft a shiv. A shiv? <laughs> Is it like a nice shiv? No, yeah. it's it's literally just <clears throat> it's a jagged piece of metal with as the blade, and then you got a uh, pretty decent handle with like a cross guard and everything. But it's literally just a shiv, so it's one d four damage. I uh, I take more scrap metal and I <laughs> combine it with the shiv. It helps out make a nicer weapon. It goes okay. your crafting for the day. Yeah, there goes your two craft. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So. We can, uh, we have, uh, don't you have Inventor? Oh yeah, I do have Improved Inventor. So, so it's, your thing is plus one. So that plus one ship now becomes a plus one short sword. Nice. And as, is it, as the blade becomes slightly longer and slightly better. Is it, uh, in comparison to my old smith work, it's like not that good? Yeah, you can definitely craft a better short sword out of an actual piece of metal. This was oh. literally just phone together. That's true. Alright, um... So now you have a plus one short sword. That's not too bad. I could do better on a real anvil and a hammer, but, uh... I'll, I'll take what I can get for magic. <laughs> okay. Well, now that you guys see how uh, all this stuff works, uh, we can do our tour. Oh, our tour hasn't begun yet? Oh, this is 
this was part of the tour, but there's still more for you guys to see. Holy smokes. So much more disappointment left in store. You're not very optimistic, uh, Jingle. You haven't worked here yet. <laughs> so, you guys will leave the workshop, and she'll kind of point it off to the left and be like, the oh, restrooms are over there. Uh, yeah, that's really all that's left in this building. Let's, uh, let's take a step outside. And we I told you, fun times. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you the rest of the... Uh, Shit and make stuff. <laughs> that's all you do. At least you get to make things. I have to fucking sweep your messes up. You can still make things... Jingle. It's just we don't want you to make things. <laughs> <laughs> I made a blow up doll once. <laughs> we could combine our items. I was just thinking that. RC pays it. <laughs> <laughs> it really must be RC. <laughs> I really planned for that. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> so, you guys step outside, and you guys are fucking freezing. Even in your winter jacket, this is the North Pole. There's three feet of snow on the ground. In front of you guys, like, there's paths going to each building, but everything is still covered in snow, and there's icicles hanging from the three buildings that are close by. Uh, you guys stepped out of the north building. In front of you, uh, Molly says, is the storehouse. It's where Santa's sleigh is. There's a lot more tools and equipment there that you guys can take if you guys need some creative items to craft with. Uh, on the path to the storehouse, you guys see a well. It's kind of weird to have in the North Pole because it's literally just going to freeze over. Mm -hmm. uh, to you guys' left is Molly says is the uh, wish department it's where all uh, it's where Santa has people hired to grant all the kids wishes everyone that's put on the nice list we'll start with the storehouse I'll show you guys around that and then we'll move over to the wish department and she'll lead you guys past the well into the storehouse um, I'm gonna have you guys roll perception checks on the way there. <laughs> Not twenty. Not twenty. Nineteen. Uh, nice. I have a 11. minus one, so fourteen. And while walking, I'm I'm gonna talk uh talk to Barnabas. Barnabas. Barnabas and say, you know, we could combine our two items. It would be a shock card. What is going on? wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> With you in these dangerous weapons. <laughs> but so, just I'm just making big clouds of cigarette I'll smoke over his face I'll with my broom. What did you roll? 14. 11. Okay. So everyone except for Barnabas <laughs> sees something very peculiar about these ice coals on the storehouse. Um, they don't look like normal ice coals, they seem a lot more dangerous as you guys are approaching. And I'm going to have you guys uh, a little initiative. What? Oh, okay. Uh, Molly, those icicles look dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're Shit. fine. They're fine. They're totally fine. Oh, Ooh. natural 20! Oh, did you get a natural 20? Yeah! I also got a natural 20! <laughs> but I have a plus 4, so I'm actually 24. Oh, okay. In total, we've had like 6 or something. Yeah, 20 yeah you guys have had a lot uh, of uh, Wait, I've, what's I've, it? What's it plus for initiative? Dex. Dex. So I have 25! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Still good job getting any of that. Anyway. I took the tavern brawler feat as well. So I'm proficient with improvised weapons. Unarmed strikes use a d4. And when I hit a target with an unarmed strike or improvised weapon, I can bonus action grapple. Nice. Yeah, I figure that might be fun. Grapple those icicles. Plus, I'm a disgruntled janitor, so <laughs> brawling would be fun. So, these icicles, seeing that they seem to have been spotted, they jump down off the storehouse, and... That is not a normal feature. <laughs> <laughs> they turn out to be ice methods. Wow. Oh, I love those. And you guys... And when now, did we hire these people, Molly? We didn't hire them. They, this is the North Pole. They just kind of showed up. <laughs> Fucking hate this job. <laughs> 25. 24. <laughs> Jesus. That's what you get for being a good boy, I guess. Yeah, dude. 
What did everyone else get? I got 15. Got or, 17. Yeah, 15. <laughs> I got 11. We're okay, so Gage, don't conserve. <laughs> so, like, we're going to the storehouse and these ice schools just gonna, like, plummet from the fucking ceiling <laughs> and, like, explode into ice methods and, like, start to attack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, That's epic as fuck. I'm terrified, though. Listen, these guys are pussies. Don't be scared. Methods are pussies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Tony, you're first. Alright, um... How many are there? There are four of them. And they're just standing in, like, a row in front of us? Yeah. Okay. You guys are roughly ten feet away from them. Are they on the ground? They're flying. Oh, damn, because I was going to use my lawnmower and just run over all of them. <laughs> 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 uh, I, so, I guess I'm going to pull out my long, or my short sword. Um, I'm going to have it at the ready, but I'm not going to move anywhere because I'm terrified. I've never been in a fight before, <laughs> so I'm just going to stand there kind of trembling with my short sword at the ready. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> That's good, okay. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, Jenkle's next. Oh, you fucking pussy! <laughs> and I'm gonna run forward with my improvised weapon, my everlasting broom of cigarette smoke. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm proficient with improvised weapons. So I'm just gonna swing at the nearest method. I'm just gonna say, uh, I, I make weapons, I don't, I don't use them. <laughs> oh, you love to see it, don't you? Do I have my strength or dex? Would be probably be strength. strength. Okay, cool. So I rolled a two, plus three is five, plus one, six. Wow. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, heartburn. Uh, heartburn, gonna need a minute. But I have multi-attack, so I pick speedy, so I'm gonna swing again. That's much better. That is, uh, no. So I add provision plus strength, so plus four to hit. So, in 19. Yes. Okay, I swing, <clears throat> I miss, try not to vomit, and I just do like another half hit, and I hit him for, I'm using both hands, so uh, five damage then. Help me out here! I'm supposed to clean up messes, not this shit! <laughs> He's like this one method with his room, and he kind of carts off a couple feet backwards as he seems to take a pretty mighty hit. Yeah, we're beating up icicle pixies. Vomit up. <clears throat> Would I be proficient with my hand taser? Yeah, I'm assuming that anything you guys craft, you're going to be proficient with. Sweet. And oh, what if I add to... I'm proficient with my carrot? What if... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you didn't craft carrot. Would yeah. I add my strength or dex to that? Or taser. Depends what you want to do with it, I guess. Corey. If you're True. throwing it, dex. If you're really just stabbing them with it, it'd be a strength. Okay. I'm not much of a throwing guy, but I have shit strength, but I'm gonna stab him with it anyway. Yeah. Are you going for the one that's injured or one? Yeah, the one okay. that's injured. Uh fuck. That's an uh, uh seven. <laughs> not quite. Good As stuff. you go to taser this one method that or, sorry, eight, because I have the plus one. Okay. Yeah, as you go to taser this method, it kinda just flutters back a little bit. It was a little bit ready from the previous hit. Okay. Uh, Duncan. Okay. Bob. I'm gonna hop on my rocking horse, my RC horse. <laughs> nice. And I'm gonna charge the method that Clayton hit, that jingle hit, okay. and try and like pin it against. Stop the trying to steal my kill, guys. Yeah, I guess you don't have a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> and that's a <laughs> five. Little <laughs> high initiatives, but low attack. Yeah, what's with all these nat twenties and then? You can't hit I'm shit. sorry, okay? Can't follow up. Yeah, so uh, you charge this method, and <laughs> since it was flying, and you're about, uh, you're shorter than what you would usually be on this rocking mm -hmm. horse, uh, yeah, it just kind of flies above you, oh right God. over the top of you. <laughs> I can roll this thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> Barnabas. Just imagine you just, like, you just go around like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. Is, uh, um, is, Molly, sorry, is Molly taking part in this fight as well? I didn't even make a character <laughs> sheet for her. I'll just say she doesn't. Yeah. Holy hell, Miss Molly, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Calm down, these are just methods. This happens all the time. <laughs> this is why you need to be prepared, that's... Why we crafted? Well, I guess that's why. Uh, 
So you want Bombadil me to craft a weapon? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. This is how this is how I got my seventh scar. You prepare us for this. Um, this is the North Pole, Barnabas. It's a very dangerous place. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. Fuck. I just have my sticky cart. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Use your head. Is any of them near like a wall? <laughs> yeah. Like they just flew off of the storehouse and were kind of just hovering close by. I don't think you can stick your car to a wall and expect it to hit Throw them. Throw the car at them. <laughs> yeah. And then if it sticks to them, then drive around. <laughs> and then <laughs> no, then they'll be stuck to the ground because they can't carry the weight. I'm going to. Maybe. Take my sticky car. I pick it up and I'm going to full on whip it. At one of the uninjured ones. Okay. So, uh, roll a hit with your dex mod. Oh, shit. That's not good. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I got multi-attack, though. Oh, you took cool. speedy? Nice. But uh, now I... You also I... only have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just threw my shoe card. So... You can use an unarmed strike. You're allowed to fucking punch Yeah, yeah I'm going to straight up run up to the thing. It yeah, just so deals one damage. Your RC jump and punch it, in the nuts. It barely misses this ice smack it and sticks to the wall right behind him. <laughs> and then I guess you're running up and... I'm going to run up and I'm going to punch it into my car. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's a... Uh, this is strength now. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so 16. Hits. <laughs> uh, unarmed strike is one damage plus your strength. One damage. So four. Sit. Since you guys don't have weapons right now, this is part will literally get dragged out if it's a one damage. It's all that one d four. And what was the point in my tavern brawler feet? <laughs> Can I make it a d six then, so it's worth it? Oh god! Are you gonna get a... I just want to roll in my thing. Yeah, you can make it a d six and some letting them do. Yeah, course. otherwise I would have just up my fucking decks or something. Seven. You wow! You punch this ice method right in the face. <laughs> Straight back <laughs> into your RC car, and so he's going to have, uh, you guys are going to have advantage on attacks on this guy. He's going to be considered prone because he's stuck to the car. Yeah. Also, right. if you wanted to, you can really just drive the car. Can I bonus him. move drive him? Is that something I can do? Can yeah. it, like, it could be technically movement, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess it could be Ooh. movement for the car. Right? So, since you would have moved 10 feet up to hit them, I'll let you move the RC car for 30 feet. Okay, can I just drive it straight down into the well? <laughs> <laughs> the well would be 20 feet away. And you can crawl up the wall. <laughs> you could drive it into the well, but keep in mind that the well is frozen over. And you'd lose your RC car. Mm-hmm. That's true. Um, okay, I'm gonna just going to just leave it there so we can beat it up. <laughs> who, who... Wait, who, who's next in the rotation? That's the end of the rotation. Oh, be the next rotation. Okay, I'm gonna drive it right up to Jingle. Okay. Or not Jingle. Um, Snowberry. Mm-hmm. Pardon me. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's time to Sorry. get your first kill, Jerry. All right, Mister Snowberry, you just smack that thing. Uh, uh. <laughs> so you're your little controller and you drive this RC car with the method just struggling on it, trying to get off. <laughs> I'm terrified. Right in front of Jerry. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you hit, by the way? This oh, new one? Or? Yeah, he had yeah, one, right? one, yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, so now it's going to be the method's turn. Uh, the one that you hit, um, Jingle, he's going to charge at you and uh, try and slash you with his claw. Uh, what's your AC? You'll find out. <laughs> Does a uh, 12 beat that? No. Okay. So he misses his claw attack on you. Uh, next one is going to be the two that weren't hit yet. Are they also attacking me? Let's see who they attack. So that would be... Seeing as Jerry is the innocent target, Uh-oh. they're both going for Jerry. <laughs> Look lively, Jerry! So they're both going to try and claw at you. One rolls an 8, other one rolls a uh, 21. <laughs> I'm assuming 21 hits? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. This time. Just barely. This dude just barely. So he'll do 2 slashing damage and uh, 3 cold damage. Uh, and then there's also the method that is on the cart. 
Seeing as he can't really go anywhere, he would also attack you. Yeah, he's just, just like, yeah, that's clawing. Like, like, he's just stuck to the car. He's on eight anyways. Oh, okay. He misses. Good. Misses his attack. So that's all four methods. Three of them are surrounding. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really do much. And it's going to be Jerry's turn. Kill oh him, God. Jerry! <laughs> I'm like freaking out. This is like my worst nightmare come true. So I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. Because I'm getting hit. Um, I kind of like, I uh, I aim for the one on the cart. And I like swing at him on there. But I don't really like swing with grace. Not like you would a sword. I swing like a baseball bat kind of more. It's like more I'm like... Like, like bringing it, yeah, like I'm bringing my short sword down on him, like you would a baseball bat to, like, I don't know, a baseball. You're using a bladed weapon like a baseball bat. Yeah. Cool. Like a bludgeoning weapon. Roll a hit. Alright. With advantage, because he's prone. Hot dog, and that'd be my strength then? Yep. Alright. And then since I crafted it, I'm also proficient. And you're also plus one. Alright, so plus six. Oh, I got a natural 20. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Alright. Uh, legit roll, too. <laughs> uh, I guess I won't bother around again. So, yeah, short sword is 1d6. Alright, so. Plus one. So it'd be 2d6 because it's a crit. Yeah. Plus one and then plus my strength. Yes. So plus three. Alright. Uh, ten. He's dead. <laughs> There you go, Jerry! Oh, yeah! Oh, That's what we like to see! Fuck him up! You bring down this jagged so- short sword that you crafted. <laughs> down like a baseball, <laughs> not knowing how to use it. And you just smack this method that's stuck in a uh, RC card. Car. And you like. You somehow slice straight through him, but you also had. <laughs> you didn't have enough strength to actually damage the RC card. Okay, good. After I do that, I just go. <laughs> it's probably the, the most perfect strike you could have done, <laughs> and you didn't even mean to do it. I'm like sweating at the force. <laughs> okay, did you have multi attack? Uh, no, you took the tinker feet. Okay. Yeah. So next up, jingle. All right, I'm just gonna keep beating, wailing down on the one in front of me. Fuck that guy. Oh shit. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen hits. Nice. All right, so that's going to be a walloping. Oh, love it. Uh, Four damage. (laughs) Okay. So you smack this method again, and he's looking pretty hurt. Somehow this broom is just kicking his ass. Good, because I'm going to roll again. (laughs) Uh uh, Uh-oh. 14. Hit. Uh, That's what I like to use. Oh, another four damage! Uh, this method is now dead. I'm just gonna keep wailing and beating it, even <laughs> if it's dead. Like, don't care, I'm just gonna beat its lifeless corpse into snowflakes. I like how you say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> keep doing good work over there, Jerry, I got this one! I'm just gonna beat it into the ground. Oh, uh, I also forget. I'll have you two roll, uh, next save. Fuck! These methods burst into an explosion of ice as you kill them. I rolled a... S- 14. You are okay. Uh, well, actually, no, you take half. Uh, 19. You guys both save. You guys will take two cold damage as these guys. Looking pretty well. Oh, right 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 uh, dude, I'm. Oh, shit! Hey, they... man, I'm about to die. I forgot they exploded! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Jingle! <laughs> <laughs> How many methods are you going to kill before you learn that they blow up? <laughs> so you kill this method on your second strike, it blows up in your face. <laughs> and it will Fuck. be Bombadil's turn. Uh, oh I need a smoke! <laughs> I'll just run up to the next one and tase it again. Okay, and roll the hit. That's a... Uh, 12. Hits. Sweet. Oh, their AC is A, yes. Yeah, it's 11. <laughs> That's 4 damage. Okay, so... You- you take this method. Um, yeah, for shocking damage. Seems kind of surprised that you would taser him. <laughs> like, who the fuck has a taser? Uh, thanks <laughs> thanks for helping out, Miss Molly. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was all a ploy. 
to get close to the building, and I'm too old for this shit, so I'm just going to go inside. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go in the storeroom or the... In the storeroom, yeah. He literally drove okay. past me, and I just see <laughs> him fucking drive into a storeroom. I love that. You, you open up the door to the storeroom. It has a parked in the handicap stop. <laughs> okay. So, the door... You try the door, it's locked. Okay. It has a little uh, scanner on top of the okay. lock, though. You'll put your little barcode and it unlocks the door successfully, Sweet. and you manage to get in. That's amazing. <laughs> what the fuck, Bob? You can't just leave. I fucking hate this old guy. <laughs> so Barnaby, your RC car no longer has a method on top of it. Great, I'm gonna go pick that bad boy up and whip it at the next one. Whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa! There are two methods right there. <laughs> but they're dead. No, there's like, there are two right beside your RC car, aren't there? Yeah, right next to Jerry. Oh, okay. Well, just kinda, never mind then. You're going to get hit? Your RC car is <laughs> on the floor next to Jerry. And then and there's, there's two, two methods kind of floating right next to him. Okay. Yeah, they're surrounding me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go help out Jerry, and I'm going to run. I'm just going to smack one right in the face again. Okay. Are you going to smack one that uh, Bombadil taste, or are you going to smack a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, like on the bomb bill taste, but that doesn't matter because it's like a five. Cool. <laughs> what? I'm not done. <laughs> As you're running over to hit this method, you uh, your short legs get caught in the snow, and you kind of stumble a bit as you're winding up your punch. You just bring your fist slightly under where uh, you needed it to be. Then I'm just gonna whip it upwards. Okay. With my second attack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, so, <laughs> you're stumbling punch and you're like, oh, I can use this momentum. And you bring your hand up to do a backhand. <laughs> What'd you roll? Five, again. Okay, you rolled another five. Mm -hmm. But as you're doing your backhand, as you're moving your foot to get the right stance, you slip on the snow this time. <laughs> And your backhand just goes wild, and you miss him a second time. So, Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> this method kind of just stopped attacking Jerry and watched you approach him. And he literally didn't move as he was trying to hit him. Now he's going to blow his frost breath in your face. Um, Fool. <laughs> so, Jerry, you're not going to roll, but I'll have... You do roll a uh, dex saving throw. That's in eight points points in dex. Uh, seven. Oh, wait, saving throw? Yeah, seven. Okay. So you save, you'll take one cold damage. And since you failed, you'll take three cold damage. Right. Holy hell, Molly, what'd you get us into? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so terrified right now. <laughs> get yeah, okay, the job is this. <laughs> Listen, it comes with the job. Don't worry about it. We still have to mop up shit. <laughs> and then the other ice method is when I continue attacking Jerry with his claws. He rolled like shit. He misses. Uh, so it's just the two methods left. Jerry, it's your turn. Um, is the one who's swung at me, is he like within swinging distance? Yeah. Or did he fly back up? No, he's within five feet. Alright, uh, again, I'm gonna like swing at him, but with no grace. Like, I'm just gonna take it and just go... Whap in my truck. <laughs> just like hit him. Fuck him up. Um, yeah. Okay, roll so, the hit. Alright. Uh, uh, 21. Hits. Alright. Uh, so, uh, 7. Okay. You hit this method for 7 damage. Leaving a pretty nasty gouge along his torso. Nice. And, uh, Jerry. I mean, not Jay. Jerry. Jingle. I'm gonna run all the way over towards Jerry with my broom up above my head going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna <laughs> slam it down on top of the one he just hit. Natural 20. Nice. Nice. Woo! So that is 5 damage and 4, so 7 total damage. Okay. Um, you bring your broom down on this method's head and you literally squish him into the snow. Nice. So much so that he explodes underground. 
Oh, you just floats underground? Yeah, you guys are not going to roll for that. Nice. Excellent, that's what I'm talking about! And I'm going to do like a cool pirouette, and I'm going to use my multi-attack to slam down on the other one! Okay. Uh, 23. Man, you're really it's, just bringing it home here. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I was countering the janitor to clean, clean up these magnets. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, 6 damage! Okay, you smack this other method, and uh, he kind of backs off of the group as you kind of swing away with your broom that's kicking these methods' asses. Um, it'll be Bombadil's turn. After seeing him run away a little bit, I just sprint towards him and put my taser out. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, 12 again. Hits. 6. You kill his method. Nice. Oh. You tase him to death. <laughs> he I was becomes so a smoking mess <laughs> as you just jam your taser into him and hold the button as he just convulses in front of you and then explodes. So I'll have you do another uh, dexterity. Uh, nine. Or no, uh, seven. So you fail, you'll take five cold damage. And this entire time I've just got a smile all on my face and my eyes are like bright and... Kind of crazy. Uh, of course they are. <laughs> okay, so the last method explodes into a ice cloud, and you guys are now out of combat. Excellent work, everybody. I just want you all to know that if I was in charge, we'd have much better security. Also, my taste of my start laughing like my ass off. <laughs> I, I say to you, I'm like, I, I'm still unhappy you took those batteries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Molly kind of walks up to you guys and is like, good job, guys. That was uh, part of your first test. You oh. guys passed. Then why did I have to fucking do it? <laughs> <laughs> you were following us. <laughs> I don't think you know shit what you did, Molly. You know, if you had just kept to your job and cleaned the floors, all that ash that you left around, you wouldn't have to fought these methods, but no. I need to make sure you guys never forget my smell. <laughs> Hot, hot take, Jingles and Molly's relationship is like Kenneth and Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth! Every chance I get to remind you that you're a shitty supervisor, I will. <laughs> okay, uh, but where the hell did Bob go? <laughs> yeah, he just or... drove into the storeroom. He went straight uh, into the storeroom. Yeah. He just left us all uh, behind in his well, fucking horsey. What can I take before anybody knows? <laughs> You walk into the storeroom, immediately to your left is a workbench, immediately to your right is a bunch of, uh, like, splay deer, <coughs> reindeer, uh, harnesses and everything like that. Just to the left of that workbench is a bunch of, uh, extra hammers and, uh, sanders, any other tools that you might need to craft anything. Just after those, uh, tools is a giant bin filled with presents. Some of them don't look in the best uh, condition. Mm -hmm. A lot of them seem kind of like moldy or like caving on themselves. And then immediately after those uh, presents is a bunch more sleigh slay gear. And tucked into the far right corner, you see a lineup of like a whole bunch of sports gear. You see, uh, you see a hockey stick. You see a bunch of hockey uh, pants, hockey mask, uh, cleats, soccer cleats, soccer ball, a whole bunch of sports gear tucked in that corner. Immediately in front of you, you see the sleigh. Santa sleigh just sitting right in front of you. So you have enough time to grab one thing from one place. Is there like an exacto knife? You, yeah, you can uh, search around the extra tools and you, you find an exacto knife. You can use it as a weapon, a 1d4 okay. dagger. Okay. Um, do I have time to cut some of the sleigh reins, leather reindeer harnesses before anybody comes in? Um, you would be on your RC horse mm -hmm. during this. You really had only about one turn, though, so that's six seconds. Okay, yeah, okay, that's fair. All right. So you would be on your way towards the reins by the time someone would... Okay. Me. <laughs> I just raced the half. Okay. Okay, I'll just get my exacto knife then and 
try not to look suspicious. So, Molly will lead the, uh, the group into the storehouse and, uh, show you guys around. Don't touch my sleigh! That's the first thing I say, and I run in there, and I just, like, slam my face into it, and I start kissing him, like, oh, it's okay, baby, I'm here, I'll take care of you, and I'll pull out my spray bottle, and I'll, I'll wipe it down. Yeah. Oh, this is my, this is the only thing I actually care about. Look at it, it's fucking beautiful. Jingle, I think that's the only good thing you've ever done for this place, is keep that sleigh clean. Someone has to do something about it, the rest of you don't give a shit. I'm gonna sit in the sleigh. Get out of there, old man, or I'll break your knees! I'm gonna pretend I'm driving it and pretend I can't hear you. I'm gonna try and yank him out. Triumph contest? Get out of my sleigh! Can I, like, try and dodge away away from him? You're pretending to ignore him. Okay, that's fair. But I'm not actually. <laughs> Roll to 13. Strength? Doesn't matter. Six. <laughs> You man, you managed to pull this old man. Out. <laughs> yeah, I just pick him up and I, I carry him down, and I just kind of like give him a little oof onto his feet. Oh, you don't actually just throw him in the no. floor. Stay <laughs> off the sleigh, okay? It's off limits to everybody. Nobody's allowed on the sleigh. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm still. If I see up one of you that. look at the sleigh, I will fucking stab you. <laughs> if I, we look at the sleigh, <laughs> I very pointedly turn and look at this sleigh. I'm gonna. Oh, Jingle, you need to calm down. This is a storeroom, that's Santa's sleigh. As he said, please do not touch it. I'm definitely looking at it and I've got a grin on my face because I'm thinking of ideas. Uh, I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> you guys can come back and take a closer look once we're done with the tour. But for now... Uh, I will put my cigarette out on your neck. Let's go over the wish department. I, I take out my taser and I'm like... Tss, tss, tss. While staring right into your eyes. <laughs> staring back, bring it on, bitch. <laughs> Oh I am, like, still standing by the door, and I have my hands on my knees and my head down, and I'm, like, <laughs> out of breath and still, like, <gasps> terrified from what happened. <laughs> and then I slowly, like, look up and look over, and I'm like, oh, uh, is is that Santa's sleigh? That sure is, Jerry. <laughs> Damn, that's a mighty fine craftsmanship. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it? <laughs> I bet, might as well have. It's beautiful. <laughs> Jiggle, we all know how much you love this sleigh. <laughs> it should be no mine. No one's going to touch it. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's Better not on. touch it. Uh, Molly will lead you guys out, out of the storeroom. And uh, I think that's where we'll leave this episode. Well, damn. Join us next time on Not 20, The Unexpected Claws. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <it. laughs> Santa Claus, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh.